Try solving this pair of simultaneous equations. Now actually get a piece of paper and some pencil out and try to solve the simultaneous equations. If you're a bit stuck, a little hint is to take the first equation, rearrange it so that y is the subject, and then substitute that value of y into the second equation. If you're not really bothered with doing it, then we'll do it for you. At first, we'll keep everything in two significant figures, all the answers, all the numbers. So we'll convert the original equations so that it only has two significant figures. We'll take the first equation and rearrange it so that y is the subject. We'll divide the numbers and again keeping all the numbers to only two significant figures. Now we'll substitute that y, what we found for y, into the second equation to replace that y. And then we'll do a bit of algebra, a bit of jiggery pokery, um, rearranging some stuff to find what the value of x is. And from the equation, by solving it, x comes out to be negative 27. So now we take this value of x and substitute it back into the expression for y, we'll find that y equals to 17. So x is minus 27, y is 17. This is using two significant figures, which is quite reasonable. But instead, let's up it a bit and use four significant figures. What would happen? So again, using the same pair of simultaneous equations, but instead keeping all the numbers to four significant figures. Take the first equation, rearrange so that y is the subject of the equation, divide the numbers necessary, keeping all the answers to four significant figures. Then we'll take this expression of y that we just found and substitute it for the y in the second equation so that we can eliminate the y. And once again, we can do some algebra with it, trying to solve for x. And what we come out with as the value of x, when we use four significant figures instead, is that x will come out to equal to negative 680.4. Take this value of x and substitute it for the x in the expression y, and we find that y equals to 335. Point six. If you take this answer for uh, four significant figures, using four significant figures, and compare it against what we got when we're using only two significant figures, we can see that the answers is very different from each other. Very, very different from each other. But instead, what happened if this time we use 10 significant figures instead for any intermediate answers? Well, let's try it. Using the same pair of simultaneous equations, we can take the first equation, rearrange it so that y is the subject, and keep all the division answers to 10 significant figures. We'll now take this result of y, this expression of y, and substitute it into the second equation to replace that y instead. And if we do all the algebra um, all to the end, which I'm not going to show in full here, what we'll find is that x will come out to negative... 722.6524544 and we take this value of x and substitute it into the expression for y we'll find that y equals to 356.2907364 again another different, different answer and so we can see that using the same pair of simultaneous equations but just taking our answers to different accuracy levels to different amounts of significant figures we get three very very different answers it shows that keeping only a few significant figures at an early stage of calculation can give an answer that is very inaccurate from the actual answer. In fact, if I use a calculator to try to solve this pair of simultaneous equations, I'll get a different answer again, which shows that even at 10 significant figures, it's not that accurate. While you might never meet cases this extreme, it's always worth remembering that when you're doing calculations, don't round numbers too much or too early.